uh, my area of experience is about uh, how to uh, support uh, pharmacists to provide a good care to the patient. So we, we try to look at uh, uh, several aspects that how we can support the patient. For example, in the social aspect, why they didn't do the medication, right? It is not about the clinical factors, but it's also about the social factors or internal factors. So, uh, my specific area of interest is from uh, uh, epidemiology. I have uh, uh, some research to conduct the cost effectiveness of some generic products in my country provided to the government to, to select the, the uh, cost effective drug into the national database. So that is one of my interests. Another thing is about the health services research. So I am keen in the uh, statistical methods, how to use data, uh, existing data, to analyze and provide some evidence to uh, policy makers how to make a good decision to provide the uh, 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 appropriate care to the patient. So I, I, I try to uh, provide some uh, in the next few years, for example, and I, I think that we may have a good collaboration or a good support that I and others may be able to support you here too, and thank you. And it is uh, the privilege and uh, very great, very great to hear the profile of the dias. Now if you have any of you of the questions, you can tell me it's very short questions, you can reply. I would like to ask my doubt uh, to Professor Ronald Allen and then because this morning you have observed our community service over there in the stadium. So you have been observed that what we have done and how we are uh, uh, trying to get, uh, give some beneficial effects to the patient. So can you suggest to improve our service on that area? Yes sir, uh, you, uh, what you are, you are and, uh, what your students are following they to provide the service to the patient like the people are having any suggestion towards us, it will be helpful because these uh, uh, activities that uh, every month we are conducting, this will be definitely helpful to our patients. This morning we were very, very impressed with the scope of what the students did and the number of patients that um, you accessed. So I thought that was um, very well done. Um, one thing that you can consider is um, we in the United States are trying to make um, events more interprofessional, more interdisciplinary. So perhaps you can um, collaborate with other um, health colleges like physicians or nursing, and then that way you can integrate care instead of um, having the patients seek um, attention at a hospital. So that will be a good way to just access care. But I think that you're doing a great job. Yeah, you all did a wonderful job. I was um, commenting on just how phenomenal your students are and how knowledgeable they are. And one thing I know it would be good if you had some of the students who were in the early years of the pharmacy program to be exposed to what you're doing because it's so valuable. And I think them having that experience early on would just make them more prepared when they get to that fifth or sixth year. But other than that, you all did a wonderful job. We have been providing a lot of service in the neural diagnosis in your class, uh, school of pharmacy. How you have been following, following the patients throughout the year? Thank you. Um, at least for my class, I would say um, most practice sites um, are more of a closed loop. So every patient in the United States has um, a primary care provider. And on a regular basis, they see them for wellness visits or checkups. But as pharmacists, um, we fill in the gaps where um, in between visits, we see them on chronic disease dates. Um, and that way, we can network to see if they're meeting their goals for A1C, for blood pressure, um, and things like that. The maximum, you definitely have an idea regarding the basic research or the maximum research that is happening in India regarding pharmacological factor. And 
uh, my question is what are the different areas that how to be highlighted in India or otherwise uh, do you have any thought of taking support from the people of India in the different areas of pharmacology by the help of training and consultants? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yes. <laughs> Uh, may I repeat your question? <laughs> what, are the, what are the areas that you have to be highlighted in pharmacology? Regarding current research. Pharmacology. Uh, if you are in uh, pharmacology. So sorry, because pharmacology is about the two of you, yeah. but pharmacology may be with me. Anyone, no problem. I, for for you know, I, I think that one important thing is about the to to study of the adverse drug that uh, marketed in the countries. So if you have a new drug in the country, you, you can explore that thing about the pharma vigilance or pharma surveillance system that you can uh, see that thing that in the country. I think that that is one thing that is very important to to our uh, approach. The second thing is about the uh, faith. Before trials, if you can conduct that thing, you can find new indication of the drugs in the country. So that is is quite innovative, I think, because when the company try to how do say that register or get the drug approved from the FDA, so they they will provide just one or two indications. But from the phase four trials or the post marketing study, you you can identify the new indication from for that study. So that that is very important from, from my opinion if you want to conduct that study. It's, it is not uh, about a, sorry, sometimes we, we don't need to 